Hey guys, welcome back to Socrates Jones, the game that will theoretically continue. Chapter 1, Through the Looking Glass. Hey look, a new arrival! Do you think he's okay? Of course he's not okay. Russo, he wouldn't be here if he was okay. Did I get hit by a truck or something? That actually happened to me in real life. Well, maybe he's okay in, in the spiritual sense. Ooh, my head. Oh, my, that's more of a, oh, my head. I didn't think it was possible to feel this much pain. Hold on, he's coming too. Hey, buddy. What's your name? Socrates. Sorry, didn't quite catch that. It's Socrates. Did he say Socrates? Oh my god! Oh my god! He's back! He's back! Socrates is back! I feel like that there's uh, been a mix up. Quick, let's take him to the Arbiter. Huh? Hold on, what? No. Wah! Put me down! One second, my catch wants to go out the window. What? What? What is going on here? Where have you taken me? Greetings, great thinker Socrates. Seems legit. Ah! A demon, clearly it's a dude in a mask. Please, please don't eat me. <laughs> this is not the great thinker Socrates. The great thinker Socrates is much wiser and far more bearded. Far more bearded. <sighs> I could've, yeah, I could've told you that. Have we both died? Oh wait, we both got, we got hit by a car, we did, didn't we? Ari, oh thank god, you're okay, did it hurt you? Hi dad. Oh, you are akin to Adrian Jones, a sharp thinker. We were just discussing the nature of existence. I suppose I should introduce myself. I am the Arbiter, overseer of the intelligible realm. The what realm? The intelligible realm, the realm of ideas. The plane from which all thought originates final resting place of those who concern themselves with the art of philosophy. The final way... Hold on, I'm not... Don't worry, Socrates. Your presence here is entirely a mistake. You are no philosopher. After all, your interesting name must have confused the exist... exist... Blah, 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 blah. existential sorting algorithm. You must have a word with Turing. I would like you to have Turing working your algorithms. You already invented the first computer. Who cares? There are better choices. I suppose he's dead. Ah, whatever. Uh, Ari? 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 Still alive. A knowledge I'm sure contributed to this uh, misfiling. Oh, thank god. Okay, not that I'm not enjoying this peek, peek behind the mo uh, mortal curtain, but uh, what does this mean for us? Well, Adri Ari Adriane Jones, I suppose it means you can leave. What, where did that come That what, from? That wasn't there a minute ago. Come on, dude. Right now in the real world, you're unconscious. Comatose may be more appropriate. The moment you step through the gate, you will wake up in your hospital bed in New York, in a large amount of pain, but alive. Look how he's like smiling. Large amount of pain, lol. It's gonna be painful? It would be, yes. But you have no need to worry now, Socrates. No pain in your future. <laughs> oh? I got out of that crash and injured? Yeah, that's what happened, Socrates. Not exactly. Grumble. You don't, you don't mean... I apologize for the confusion. I said that Socrates is not a philosopher. I never meant to imply that he was not dead. When you leave, we will we'll get him filed away to the appropriate life life. One involving lots of numbers, I suppose. Dot, dot, dot. Is this a joke to you, Arbiter? No, it is simply the way of the world. You have a life, he does not. There is no way he can possibly leave. But you can't just... He's my dad! Ari, stop, please. But... Look, as much as I hate it, I'm not sure we can talk our way out of this one. So for now, just listen, okay? This might be the last time we get to speak. Hmm. Will you... Will you just... Just know I love you and tell your mother I'm sorry for me, please. Remember to do your homework and what are the plans and don't stay out too late. And whatever you do, I would, uh, can I talk to you for a moment? Of course. <laughs> what? Ari, I was... Hold that thought, Dad. I'll be right back. I was saying my goodbyes. Dots. Da, da, da. I don't think he's super happy right now. This is kind of killing my moment. Well, Socrates, I must my amend, must amend my initial statements. There is an actual actuality one way out. 
There is? Yes, an ancient wager set down by the original Arbiter and reserved for the best of thinkers. After talking with your daughter, I've decided to offer you a chance at this challenge. Well, he's fucked. You can provide an answer to one of the great philosophical questions, the nature of morality, one, your one, uh, one request will be granted. An answer? Yes, a way to think about morality that is internally consistent and compatible with the realities of the world. However, in this game, you're only allotted one chance. If I find your answer uninsightful, I'm stuck here. Correct. All parties involved must remain here for eternity. But if he is able to find out the nature of morality, you can both walk through that door. Correct. Okay, Ari, fess up. What on earth did you do? I'm not sure you want to know, uh... Oh, okay, he told him this is a brilliant debate up. Shh, I was about to say, I'm not sure you want to know what your cute red-headed daughter did to get you this chance. <laughs> what? Are you crazy? I'm an accountant, I can't... Ari, I appreciate the sentiment. We both know I don't know anything about philosophy. Look, it's not like you're gonna be alone. I'm gonna stay, and there are people here who know even more than I do. Just give it a shot, please? May as well take a crack at it, right? Rules really don't stop me from asking others for help. No, they do not. However, you will have to use your own judgment to determine whether the ideas of the divide meet the criteria I have established. Well, fuck. <laughs> I know I'm gonna regret this. <sighs> Very well then, Abada. I accept your wager. So be it. The door will reopen when you have completed your task. I wish you luck. Ari. Well, I suppose I should get started. Um, can anyone here help me find out the nature of morality? <laughs> Terrible. So bad. Hmm. Uh, what is that? Sounds like an earthquake. Really? I thought it was more like a football game. Now you've done it. Huh? <laughs> I know the answer. I swear I do. Morality's freely conceptual. No morality's friends to come tomorrow. Ah, oh, what the hell? Let me go. That's amazing. Because it's the land of philosophers. I'm gonna do something. What? Is he not getting help? You call this help? They're gonna tear him apart. Hmm. Very well, if you insist. Silence! One of you will come forward at a time and no more. Now, which of you thinks they can help this accountant answer his question? Alright. Youth hype throw? You hip throw? Youth bro? Youth pro? I don't know this philosopher. I believe I can. Ah, one second. Ah! Ugh. Shit's falling off me and stuff. Ah, of course. Euthropia of Athens. How do you fare? Quite well, noble arbiter. Uh, who's this guy? Youth hip bro. Yutro, Yutsupro. This dude was a prominent religious scholar and priest back in ancient Greece. He famously deb debated your namesake many millennia ago. Indeed, my pious ways were known and respected throughout the land. As a sophist, it was my job to educate those who were ignorant, such as yourself. Ah, I see. Hey, wait a minute. Listen, my child, and I will share my insight with you. Presentation. Let's go. Good is what is holy. My religious studies have given me insight to the nature of right and wrong. Human beings are fallible and vain. They make mistakes. A god, however, is a superior being. Everyone possesses wisdom far beyond, uh, beyond our own. Thus, whatever a god commands must be good. And there you have it. Source of morality. Mankind is flawed. Add to the idea slate. Morality comes from the gods. Add to the idea slate. Hmm. Is there a problem, child? Well, I'm not exactly religious. I see. Poor, unfortunate soul. Having strayed so far from the light. If you allow your mind to remain clouded, you will never win your way out of here. Clouded, huh? Ari? Listen, Dad. You... Euthropos? Argument benefits from a simple nature, but I can't help but feel he's making it seem more simple than it actually is. Okay, so what can I do? Sometimes, by examining argument closely, you can find assumptions that were previously unstated. I bet you can find something like that here. More information is always useful and can help you get to bigger, the bigger issues. Well, Socrates, is this the answer you seek? I don't think I'm ready to bet my life on the gods just yet, Arbiter. Dude. Hip bro. Hip throw. Pyro. Fro. I think I need to ask you a few questions. Alright, Dad, good luck. Argument. My list says you give me insight into the nature of right and wrong. Question. Ask for clarification. What do you mean by that? 
What exactly are you confused about, Socrates? I see your mind is clouded, child, but I believe that statement is clear. My stage religious text will give me insight beyond my own. Ouch. Insight into the nature of right and wrong. Press for... Never mind. Okay. Human beings are fallible and vain and make mistakes. Uh, press for backing. Can you back that up? Do you believe men to be perfect? Um, maybe? Interesting. Well, looking at you, child, I can assure you they are not. Wow, fuck you. Alright. A god, however, is a superior being. Question. Uh, press for backing. Can you back that up? My child, can you throw lightning or create storms? Did you create the world in seven days? Did you turn your daughter into a tree for her own protection? Well, um, no. Well, my child, each of these things was done by a god. Clearly, they are superior. Uh, question relevance. How is that related to your conclusion? Accepting God's superiority is a crucial step towards enlightenment. enlightenment. Here, I begin to set you on that enlightened path. Um, everyone possesses wisdom far beyond their own. Question. Uh, press for backing. Can you back that up? Being immortal, the gods have had infinite years of learning and experience. Their immortality gives them a perspective that we cannot hope to achieve. Wait, but isn't everyone here immortal in a sense? No, we are all dead, child. There is a difference. Wisdom is derived from experience with the world, and our experiences in that regard have ended. Speak for yourself, I'm not done yet. Okay. Thus, whatever God commands must be good. Challenge. Uh, no, never. Your face is ugly. Question. Ask for clarification. What do you mean? Simply that the gods are the source of, mor of morality. There is no better place from which to receive guidance. Uh, I'm not sure for that. Cross for backing. Can you back that up? My child, who's more fit to judge morality? A wise man or a fool? The wise men, of course. And as all, all gods have infinite wisdom, we should defer to their judgment. Thus, gods are the ideal source of morality. I don't accept that concept. Uh, mankind's flawed. This is what's wrong with your argument. Is it, child? Um, I think so. I'm not so sure. Yeah, acceptance of God. Uh, that's where we're going to be good. I haven't found a problem yet. Maybe this is the answer. I don't think. But I still feel so unsure. Dad, remember what I've told you. Look for anything that might be a hi a hiding an assumption. Mm, well, back to the top. Let me go over this again. Where are the studies are giving me insight into the nature of right and wrong? Challenge. Mankind's flawed. You sound pretty confident in yourself. But as you yourself have said, mankind is flawed. Why couldn't you have made a mistake in your own judgments? Hmm. <laughs> wow. Dude, for a philosophy dude, he's like really mad that I'm challenging his assumptions. Yes, my child. Mankind is indeed flawed. I am humble enough to admit I am included in that number. Damn right you are. But we are not, all not equal in our flaws. And I can show you, yours far outweigh mine. Socrates, even if your flaws are visible, discussion requires you to at least try to give each other benefit of the doubt. Your goal is to find the answer, not tear him down, after all. You might as well have told him his face was ugly for all the good we've done further in the discussion. I can do that. I should do that. Yeah, uh, why would anyone do that? Well, let's just give me insight into the nature of right and wrong. Question. I don't... Challenge. Uh, no, never mind. Next. Human beings are fallible and vain and make mistakes. Question relevance. How is that related to your conclusion? The fact that human beings are vain shows that they are not as reliable as gods. <sighs> Question. Ask for clarification. Never mind. I got however a superior being. Ask for clarification. What do you mean by that? Uh, God's ability far beyond our comprehension. These abilities render them superior to us mere mortals. I don't accept that. <sighs> Never mind. Question. Question relevance. How is that related to your conclusion? Seven of God's blah, 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 here we can sit, okay. Everyone possesses wisdom far beyond our own. Challenge. Wait, things that are good are good because gods like them. Back. Uh, that's where good comments must be good. Challenge. This is what's wrong with no. Uh, no, uh, oof. this isn't good. Hmm, God, how is a spirit being? 
Must clarification. What do you mean by that? Goes really fast. Okay. Yeah. Press for backing. Can you back that up? My shot can throw like great stones. Okay. <sighs> Question relevance. I'm really confused. What we'll losing far beyond our own? No, I don't accept the, 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 the challenge. No. Oh shit! I think I ran out. <sighs> Must be good. My religious studies are giving me insight into the nature of right and wrong. Mmm, <sighs> you beings are fallible and vain to make mistakes. Question relevance. How is that related to your conclusion? Taking like beings are vain shows they're not reliable as gods. Crap. Oh dear. Oh god. God ever is a superior being. I'm not. Everyone possesses wisdom far beyond their own. Everyone? What do I? Thus, every good commands must be good. Everyone's. Should I question? Ask for clarification. Everyone? Excuse me? You said everyone. Your point, child? Well, I've been assuming you were referring to the commands of a specific deity, but. Well, which god are we talking about here? Well, about oh, gods giving me the strength to deal with this ingrate. That doesn't answer my question. Right now, is there a particular god giving you strength? Does it matter? There are many gods. Greek, Hebrew, Egyptian, Norse. There are differences between them, but any would fit the ideas I described here. Differences between gods add to this idea slate. I see. Good work, Dad. Huh? You've uncovered an unstated part of Eurythro's views by closely examining his argument. Eventually, finding things like this can really help you out. If you don't have enough tools, the person you're debating may just hand, hand you some. Now get back in there and find a larger problem. Wait, hold on. Are you telling me this idea is going to be useful? I don't know. Maybe? You're supposed to figure this out yourself, remember? I think I'm already pushing the helping you threshold, dead guy. Right. <sighs> the nature of right and wrong. Human beings are fallible and vain and make mistakes. A god, however, is a superior being. Everyone possesses wisdom far beyond their own. If that's whatever a good commands must be good. Alright, cool, I was worried there. You throw, uh, if we could stop for a moment, I'd like to share a cute few things. You said the different religions have. I should put on like a more accountant y voice. You said the different religions have different gods, right? Yes, child. And sometimes these gods have different views. Indeed, piety comes in many forms. Hmm, okay. Dad, is something up? I don't know. I may have found a problem here. Really? That's great. Go ahead and present it. D -d -d Dad? I... Sorry, this is just a little intimidating. What if everyone laughs at me? Just present it, Dad. No one's going to laugh at you. They probably are. This isn't some deer repellent salesman, this is the real deal. Real things are at stake here, like me! <coughs> Dad, just present it! Okay, okay. <clears throat> Greek dude, there's a problem with your position. Is that so, child? It is so. Look, you claim that morality comes from the gods, that we can trust that whatever com they command is right. It seems to me that if the gods disagree, then that puts your idea in a weird place. You yourself said we can't judge their, judge their wills ourselves, for ourselves, but when gods, the different gods think different things are good, what would actually be good? What would make the gods impossible, what would make the gods impossible to use as a source of morality? Get fucked, right? Dot dot, alba dot 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 dot, Ari, dot dot dot. That was pretty lackluster presentation, Dad. Hey! Well, this may be true, the validity of an argument is not rooted in style points. Thankfully, despite lacking both flair and vocabulary, Socrates is a valid point, as I believe you already know. You throw? <clears throat> yes, yes, as I recall, the first Socrates made very similar points. And what, you just decided to ignore them? Arrogant son of a... Like you, he lacked the faith required to see the truth. Your blasphemy will not take you as far as you think. Poor child, let me show you where you've lost your way. Okay. I gained some point stuff back. Presentation on divine disagreements. It's true that different deities have uh, different desires in my, religion and in my religion and between religions. I admit that this may be the source of confusion. 
However, there are many points for which these divine beings agree. For example, most I disagree that it is wrong to kill without cause. Clearly, what gods agree upon is always good. Is that better, child? Well said. You... Well said. <laughs> Thank you, Arbido. Youth Hypro? Youth Hippro? Euthypro? Euthypro. I'm going to say Euthypro. As you can see, my child, the gods overcome all obstacles. Okay, Euthypro. Hmm. What are you thinking, Dad? Well, his argument is certainly more nuanced now. But something tells me it still won't stand up to examination. <laughs> I'm sorry, Euthypro, but I still have some questions for you. Is it true that different deities have different desires? It is true that different deities have different desires more religion. Okay, question. Ask for clarification. What do you mean by that? It was your objection, child. I claim no, you're in your own statement. Uh, no, I'm good. <laughs> uh, alright. I admit this may be the source of confusion. Press backing. Can you back that up? It confused you, did it not? There, my statement is backed. I'm just trying to piss him off now. Never mind. Alright. However, there are many points in which these divine beings agree. Uh, alright. Press for backing. Can you back that up? Be patient, my child. I'll get to it. How the movements in this agree? For example, most deities agree that it is wrong to kill without cause. Question. Ask clarification. What do you mean by that? I think this is pretty clear, child. Take life another is wrong. Many gods agree on this, don't you? Uh. Question relevance. How's that related to your conclusion? It's an example, reaffirming my point. Dad, do you really need such things laid out for you? <laughs> Fuck you! Uh, press backing. Can you back that up? Are you familiar with the Quran? Anyone who kills a human being, it shall be as though he has killed all of mankind. And in Hinduism, he who commits murder must be considered as the worst offender. There are countless examples throughout religions. Okay. Clearly what the gods of Quran is all, you know, it's always good. Press for backing. Can you back that up? Excuse me? Why couldn't something the gods of Quran be bad? The gods, in their superior wisdom, should never agree upon something that wasn't good. Would never agree upon something that's good. They would only tell us to do things that would lead to positive ends. To suggest otherwise is blasphemous for me. Uh huh, interesting. Indeed, if you don't mind, I think I'd like to further examine that idea. New statement added on divine disagreements. Challenge. Uh. Oh. Yes, yes, it applies to all gods, so they might have different ideas in mind. Alright, sure, surely if uh, things are uh, good, the gods will agree upon them. Question. Press for backing. Can you back that up? Uh, we have established the gods of the system, have we not? While there may be some slight variance between them, these infinitely wise beings will surely come down on the same side when dealing with important matters, like the aforementioned example of murder. Question. Ask for clarification. I mean, if gods look at something, uh, they would uh, not all agree upon it unless it was clearly moral or immoral. Question. Question of relevance. How is that related to your conclusion? Shows why the previous statement can stand as true. Uh, I don't know. Blah. Just because all the same words are there doesn't mean that the argument falls the same way. Think very carefully how this might be different from what you've heard, what you've heard before. Back to the top. Clearly, I'm missing something here. Is it true that it is true that different desires have different desires in my religion? Between religions. I admit that this may be a source of confusion. However, there are many points in which these divine beings agree. For example, most ideas agree that uh, blah blah. Clearly, what God's opinion agree upon is always good. Uh, I don't have more. I should just tell his face is ugly. Hmm, clearly, God's opinion agree upon is always good. Question. Press backing. Excuse me, why are we in the Okay, yeah, okay. The gods in the wisdom. They would only test two things that lead positive ends. It's just otherwise the blasphemy. Never mind, like, further examination. Clearly, the gods of Piano is always good. But surely, if things are good, the gods will agree upon them. <sighs> Never mind. Challenge. Uh, fuck. Hey, okay. Just because all the, all the same words there, all the same words there doesn't mean the argument falls the same way. Uh, uh, this confusion. However, there are many points in which the divine beings agree. Question. Press for backing. 
be patient with Charles to get to, like, for example, with the uh, press backing. Even the Quran, Quran anyone kills human beings, though he has killed all of mankind. And Hinduism, he commits murder, must be considered as the worst offender. There are countless examples throughout religions. Uh, question relevance. How does it relate to your conclusion? It's an example of referring my point. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, wait, 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 wait. I don't. Th you said most. Uh, d I'm confused. I'm so bad at this. Clearly, the guns. No, that can't be true. Like, the, the, mm. they because they disagree on lots of crap. Question. Question relevance. How does it relate to your conclusion? Same way Zeus is related to Jupiter. They're one and the same. Uh, press for backing. Can you back that up? Excuse me? Why couldn't something have gone into your ears want to be bad? Yeah, 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 yeah. Alright. Ask for clarification. Uh, ah, challenge. Different gods. Morality comes from the gods. Ah. Nonsense! Okay. I thought that made sense. It wasn't just blind dumb luck. This is wrong because you said morality comes from the gods. I don't understand what you're trying to say, child. This is the core idea in which the argument is elaborating. But, but if whatever the gods agree on is good, if morality comes from them, then, uh... It sounds like there's a contradiction in there somewhere. I kind of get that feeling too. Let's look at these last parts a bit more closely. Clearly what the gods agree upon is always good. Surely if things are good, the gods will agree upon them. But they don't. No. Ah, uh, fuck. Challenge. Morality comes from the gods. Okay. What now, child? <sighs> He's glaring at me again. D -d -d no, pull yourself together, Socrates. You have a point to make, so make it! D -d 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 -d. If you intend to speak, child, you just shout nonsense for your own amusement. Right, sorry. Okay. Youth Pro, the core of your argument is that morality comes from the gods, right? Yes, my child. And this is true because gods would only command what is good, yes? Also true, there may be hope for you yet. Is that so? Because I think you just revealed a major problem with your argument. What? I have no idea what you mean, child. Get owned. Really, well then, let me ask you one last question. Are things good because God command them? Or do gods merely command things because they are good? Aha! What? What? Look, you're the you, Ether Pro. You said over and over again that what the, command, the gods would never ask us to do something bad. That they restrict their commands to things which would be good for mankind. But in order for this to be true, wouldn't the things they command have to already be good? They would need to have value rooted in something other than the gods. Oh, nice catch, Dad. The fact is, even in a world where gods existed, they could not be the source of good. They would merely serve to point out good things which already exist. Good things are good because of other things. Excellent point, Socrates Jones. Very clearly presented. I agree, though maybe I should coach you on vocab. Things isn't exactly a scholarly term. Thanks, I think I'm mostly concerned with Euthypro's thoughts. What do you say, Euthypro? Are moral actions good because the gods command them, or the gods command moral actions because they are good? Look at that eye twitch. No! No! Just as I thought, you've got nothing. You talk a big game, but you clearly haven't thought your points through. There's no way I could accept this argument as my own. It's too... Holy... Boo! Insolent wretch! I try to help save you and this is how you repay me? You, would l you uh, won't last to win your way out of here, child. Gods will smite you for your blasphemy. Will they? Somehow I think I'll be fine. I've already died once, after all. What more could happen? There are no limits to the extent of smiting. Just you wait. You'll be nothing but a pile of dust of smolder. A warning to all who dare to insult the gods. Silence! I believe we heard enough from you, Ethro. Socrates was right to question you. In the end, your philosophy failed to measure up. Go and reflect upon this. But go and reflect. Yes, Abada. Yeah. Alright, I'm gonna call it there, guys. I hope you enjoyed some more Socrates Jones. I'm really bad at this game. Uh, and I'll catch you all later.